I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome. This took me by surprise. What had happened is that I had started out my career as an attorney in New York City, working the typical long hours that young people in their 20s do. I would often pull all-nighters. This took a toll on my health. I started out with a bad uh, cough, which then was diagnosed as bronchitis and turned into walking pneumonia. This stimulated asthma and a wheezing cough so that I was literally unable to carry on a conversation because every time I started to talk, I would start coughing. It was, as you can imagine, extremely frustrating and depressing as I went from doctor to doctor trying to find a solution as to why I simply could not get well. There was nothing they could do for me. Perhaps I would never be fully healthy again. When I heard that, I realized a couple of important things. Number one, I realized that I had been sitting back passively, waiting for that doctor to write me a prescription that would make me well. Number two, I realized that no one cares about my health more than me, and that if I don't get it together and figure out how to create my health, I was really never going to be healthy again. Which, number three, I realized that there are limits to modern uh, conventional medicine to optimize your health. Uh, but antibiotics are great if you have an infection, but not so great when you take them for prolonged periods of time. My hair actually started to fall out because I had been on full spectrum antibiotics for six months. I had to then undertake a long process of restoring my own health, which was extremely enlightening for me because as a Stanford and Harvard graduate and an attorney uh, from Georgetown who had passed the New York, California, and um, been admitted to the Washington DC bar, I was considered by people to be successful and intelligent and well-educated, and yet somehow, through no one's fault but my own, I had become extremely sick. This was not an acceptable circumstance. And I, am, I wondered, how is it that someone with a seemingly everything going for them could end up flat on their back, in bed, and in and out of the hospital? I, I also was diagnosed with a condition called pleurisy, which is an inflammation of the lining of the lungs, where my lungs burned and ached and I could hardly breathe. Every breath was torturous. So I had to really consider deeply how to fix this situation. Fortunately, I had a wonderful therapist at the time who helped me through counseling to get back on my feet, to get over the depression which I was suffering from because I had to give up my job and was unsure as to what I was going to do for a livelihood and I knew that I needed to do something that was no longer going to destroy my health. I also was uh, very fortunate to have a very competent uh, doctor who was able to instruct me in what we now call functional medicine and we went about rebuilding my gut health, uh, working through elimination diets. I had developed allergies to everything. I took a skin test and I was allergic to practically everything. I would have anaphylactic uh, shock reactions if I went uh, too much and spent too much time outdoors and exerted myself. And I had formerly been fit running 10Ks and, and regularly exercising, and I could barely walk up and down the stairs in my house. And I undertook a new career path in health promotion. It was very difficult. Many people along the way doubted me because they said, you're qualified as an attorney, why would you want to be a health and fitness professional? And yet I persisted. Uh, as you can see, I have awards, I have written books, 15 of them translated now, and here's an Italian version of my Pilates uh, deck, translated into several uh, languages worldwide. Here are some Chinese versions of my book, Fitness 9 to 5. And I dedicated myself to educating people about the mind-body connection and the importance of choosing health each day 
through the small actions that you take. Because health is really not something that you save for the weekends or you save for your older age. It's created daily by the foods you eat, the, the way in which you manage your stress and tension levels, how you exercise and move your body, and how you manage your relations with other people in your family and in your community so that you feel satisfied and happy and productive. All of these things are factors in creating a healthy and happy life. And I am so passionate about sharing solid evidence-based information. I went back to Stanford University where I had graduated from as a college student to seek out the advice of a man I had known when I was a student. His name is Dr. Uh, Jack Farquhar, and he was the founder of the Stanford Prevention Research Center. And I had been uh, serendipitously able to have the good fortune to meet him as a college student and, and actually live in his house and babysit his children. And I went back later and, and asked him how I could change my life direction toward health education. And I became a health educator in a program called the Health Improvement Program at Stanford University, which is community-based education to help people in the Stanford community improve their health and daily well-being. This was very meaningful. I worked there for 15 years as a health educator. I was briefly the associate director of the Health Promotion Resource Center. And through that work, I had the privilege of meeting many uh, expert researchers in cardiology, in behavioral sciences, in psychology, in nutrition, exercise physiology, and understand the components that are necessary to creating a healthy lifestyle and learn about scientifically based interventions that have been tested with research to create better health on an individual and community level. And this made me very passionate to share with people because it's important that this information get out to the public and that's what really fueled my desire to write and be a vehicle in which to share this because I passionately believe that all of us deserve to have a healthy and happy life and that it is incumbent not only upon us to make good choices, but we need to have access to good information because without solid evidence-based credible information, we don't know what the right choices are to make. What are the right foods? How much activity is appropriate? What amount of sleep do I need? Do good relationships matter? How does my attitude affect my overall health? These are all questions that scientists have posed and we now have a tremendous body of knowledge. What's really exciting to me about health education today is that for the first time, we really know all of the component parts that create an optimal, healthy, and long-lasting life. There's no reason why we can't be vital, energetic, and fit until the last day we breathe on this earth. And yet, we often don't know how to find that information. So it's my passion to bring that to you and to be here as a resource to help you live a joyful, happy, healthy, fulfilled, and active life for as long as you live. So feel free to send me your questions, to share with me your concerns, and know that I'm always happy to be a resource to get you the information that you need. Thank you so much.